Oh, and talk about and put the focus and spotlight on Indian rupee. The rupee has touched a fresh record low now. In fact, all Asian currencies, when you look at that, have weakened between 0.25 to 0.5 percent on continuing dollar strength. Lata is joining Vinatas to tell us more details on this front. Lata, good afternoon. Yes, I think it's for the seventh or eighth consecutive day that the rupee touches a fresh low. Uh, as we speak, 84.41 uh, was also scaled. Remember, it was uh, barely moving beyond 84.07, 84.1 before the US election. So this is clearly a post-election dollar strength and therefore all Asian currencies, as you can see, weakening between a quarter and a half percent. Actually, I'm not including the Thai bath here. That's fallen 0.85 just today. So, you know, if you look over the week, uh, there are some 5% falls in some of the currencies. But the one that we have to look at very closely is the renminbi, uh, the, both the CNY and the CNH. CNY is onshore and CNH is uh, the one traded uh, in Hong Kong. Both of them have been uh, falling steadily. In fact, uh, the renminbi has fallen from 7.1 that was needed to buy a dollar before November 5th to now 7.2325 also on the CNH, uh, on the offshore market. And uh, the expectation is that it could fall even further because China doesn't want to stop that fall. For China, if there is a tariff wall, then one way to get, uh, despite the tariffs, is to cheapen the cost of the goods. And that's exactly what they're trying to achieve, perhaps, by this uh, depreciation. Now, the same logic works for India. We have a trade account deficit, trade deficit with China, and if the yuan depreciates, that will mean, uh, or the renminbi depreciates, then that will mean cheaper Chinese goods can, uh, you know, enter India, increase the deficit. So we would like to at least concomitantly cheapen the rupee as well, so that you don't allow an influx of uh, cheap Chinese goods. In fact, on the in the market, there is no one who is saying that a low is near. Everyone is of the view that the PBOC. Uh, traditionally used to block, uh, you know, uh, try and stop, at least put some obstacles to the fall of the currency. This time they are almost hands off. And likewise, the Reserve Bank is intervening. It is providing dollars, but it is not trying to protect any level. So looks like the BBOC and uh, Reserve Bank are comfortable with the currency. All that they're doing is smoothening volatility, but allowing it to fall. Uh, there is some hope in the market that uh, a renminbi at 7.33 7.3 to 7.33 may be the level to which it will fall, in which case the rupee perhaps is, you know, we are looking at some uh, 8.45, uh, 84.45 or thereabouts, but all these are just lines in the sand. Absolutely, we'll keep an eye out on that. But Lata, do stay on.